back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Aries. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. And I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. I was lucky enough to get in some quality rearranging in office time. I don't know. I'm really nerdy. I love that shit. I think we're going to use the Celestial Tarot, so let's see what Spirit has for you, Aries. What do you have for Aries? Ooh, Aries, hidden energy. If you're new to my channel, that's where something flips over but doesn't fall out. We have the Page of Pentacles telling me that you are unaware that there is an offer coming your way. This is probably something pertaining to your work, but it doesn't have to be. It could be more so pertaining to a financial situation, you know, um, or even like a side hustle, that kind of thing. So here we have the Queen of Wands, the Death card, and the Emperor. Hmm. So I'm going to want to get a little bit more information because I'm reading this in a couple of different ways. We've got the possibility of a relationship or partnership ending. Because of course death can actually refer to an end of a cycle or actual death, of course. But I think this is maybe more so about somebody changing someone else. I think there's a masculine energy here who has gone through some spiritual tests and an awakening and was inspired by probably a female Aries to be honest, but the Queen of Wands, I'm really getting the vibe here that we have a feminine Aries who has really helped an emperor understand. Um, so we've got the Six of Cups coming out saying that there is definitely a past relationship or tie here and that there are good memories. But yeah, I think this Emperor kind of had a fire lit under his ass by this Queen of Wands. Here we have the Eight of Wands. This I'm seeing as hope. I don't often see the Eight of Wands that way, but I think what we have here is somebody that is hopeful that they can create stability with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This Masculine energy feels like he has been left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles coming out. The Queen of Wands feels like she is owed an apology. And with the Nine of Cups here, there's two things. This feminine energy is the wish fulfillment or the source of a lot of happiness for this masculine energy, but he is also changing and healing because of the love that this Queen of Wands showed him. It doesn't have to be sexual or, you know, long-term romantic. It could literally even just be like, you're such a good friend to me. But whatever it is, this feminine energy has been kind of like like the North Star, you know, just like kind of guiding this masculine energy. I would expect at some point we see the Empress come out. So there are good memories in the past between these two, but there's also heartbreak. Somebody was disappointed or felt um, neglected. And with the Two of Swords, I think with 
this masculine energy, it took a while and then this masculine energy literally chose, I'm not going to stay stuck anymore. I am going to make my life what I want it to be and they found hope. They chose to leave behind the stagnancy and instead focus on what they could do. Yeah, and they moved forward. It's a beautiful energy. If you resonate with that, I'm really proud of you. Good work. Ooh. So for hidden energy, we've got five of wands. I'm getting competition from that. So you may not be aware of it, Aries, but there might be somebody who feels like they're competing with you. So you might be... Um, you know, like the ex that this feminine energy always talks about or like the best friend that's never like crossed that boundary that always talks about you kind of thing or vice versa. Um, with the Knight of Wands here, we've got a sense of urgency pertaining to reconciliation or this heart-to-heart -heart conversation happening. So we have the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. It's a lot of twos, so you may have been seeing two, two, two. Otherwise, more likely, Aries, I think you have kind of felt things finally starting to balance out. Like you're finally feeling more empowered, and that makes me really happy for you. The High Priestess is clarifying the Nine of Cups. So I think that there's a couple of ways to look at this. Number one, this feminine energy is intuitive or magical in some way. She has some close tie to spirit or the universe. Um, there's also, I believe, an increase in intuition or the masculine energy has finally started paying attention to the intuition that's always been there but with the high priestess coming out clarifying the healing and the wish fulfillment there's been absolutely some healing and some like leveling up i think on both sides the two of wands is telling me that this masculine energy has been uncertain which direction to go they don't want to cause a tower moment. That was in the reverse. They want to find a way to express their feelings and then move to smoother waters. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that motorcycle. I assume you can because it's loud, but... Alrighty, let's... Clarify with just a couple more cards here for you, Aries. This is the Tarot Familiars. I love it because it has cats and unicorns, skulls. <laughs> what more could you ask for, right? Tell us more, please, for Aries. What else do you have for Aries? Alright, final words of wisdom from Spirit. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. How many cards did you give me here, Spirit? Damn. All right, let's do this. King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Here, I'll show you the cards first. This is our masculine energy. He's the emperor, therefore he embodies all four of these uh, kings that we have, right? Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. This masculine energy was dishonest or was sneaking around doing something that he knew he shouldn't be doing. And that's what caused the heartbreak or the end to this situation. And then we have the <laughs> Queen of Wands, Six of Cups. This masculine energy still has a lot of really fond memories with this feminine energy. But with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, we know that timing is critical and you reap what you sow. This masculine energy has to improve their karma before they can come back to this Queen of Wands. 
with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, there may be um, a little bit of doubt or fear of rejection that is cutting into this hope that we identified earlier in the reading. But basically, it looks like Aries, the message is, if somebody here has done the work, then they're probably going to come towards the feminine energy that they miss and make an offer. I hope that clears things up for you and that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.